Hello vlog passengers, I'm Matt Guyon. It's Question Tuesday, and it's snowing again. This is gonna be a Jeopardy style Question Tuesday, meaning that I'm gonna give you the answer first and then I'm gonna give you the question. So, about a year and a half ago, I wrote a song that I posted on my other channel, Banking8408, which expressed my feelings about the screenwriter of the Harry Potter movies. The title of the song is Steve Clove Sucks. Not surprisingly, I got a lot of comments on this video. I still get the occasional comment on that video. And basically, the comments that I get on that video fall into two basic categories. The first category of comments are the people who are like, yeah, right on, Steve Close does suck, great song, man. And the second category of comments are the people who are like, dude, you're dumb, Steve Close is awesome, what's wrong with you, you're an idiot. Or words to that effect. Very rarely do I get a comment that is not of those two categories. And so when I do get a comment that is not of those two categories, I get very excited. The very rare third category of comment on that video are the people that disagree with what I'm saying, but are able to tell me so without insulting me. I got a comment like that recently on that video. And by recently, I mean like a month or two ago. I don't remember when I got the comment, but it's the most recent comment I've gotten on that video. Basically, this person is of the opinion that Steve Cloves is not wholly responsible for the suckage of the movies. That the bulk of the responsibility lies on the directors and the producers, but that Steve Cloves himself is relatively innocent in that regard. And while I don't agree with this person's point of view, I respect this person's point of view. And the reason why I respect this person's point of view is because the comment that they left was not insulting or disrespectful in the least. And now we get into what I think is one of the major contributing factors to the problems of the world. We don't know how to disagree. And you might be thinking, Matt, you're crazy. We disagree all the time. Yes, yes we do. But we don't know how to do it properly. The type of people who leave the type two category of comments, in other words, the haters, these are people who are incapable, completely incapable of disagreeing with somebody's point of view without insulting them. Similarly, they are also the type of people who are incapable of being disagreed with without being offended or taking the disagreement personally. If you try to argue with these people, if you try to reason with these people, they will get even more irrational than they were before, even more insulting than they were before. Because they are incapable of comprehending that there are people in the world that hold different points of view that they do without being stupid or without having some sort of ulterior motive. So I guess these people are incapable of agreeing to disagree. They can't accept another person's point of view. They can't respect another person's point of view because it is not their own. Similarly, a lot of people, not just haters, but a lot of people seem to be under the impression that disagreement is bad. But I would argue that it is because people have disagreed with my points of view that I have been able to solidify many of the things that I believe. When people disagree with me and they do it respectfully and without being insulting, then I take a minute to step back and look at what I believe. And I either find a stronger counter argument to their argument than I had before, I slightly amend my beliefs, or in some cases I completely change what I believe because I realize that maybe I was mistaken or wrong or maybe I don't really believe that. And it's only when we solidify our own personal beliefs that we can really argue effectively. And because people think disagreement is bad, they have not had that opportunity to solidify their own personal beliefs, and so they're not able to argue effectively. And so that's what I think is wrong with the world, and so my question for you today is, what do you think is wrong with the world? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.